A bail hearing in Canada for the chief financial officer of Chinese telecom giant Huawei is over. She was detained at U.S. request and is facing multiple charges, which could carry a lengthy prison term. Natalie Carney is in Vancouver. So, Natalie, what is the latest from the court? Well, the court did just wrap up here about an hour and 20 minutes ago, 4 p.m. local time. I'm currently at the Vancouver Law Courts, as you see behind me, where her bailey, bail hearing took place on Friday. They did not uh, come to a conclusion, so she will remain in custody throughout the weekend uh, until 10 a.m. on Monday when everyone will conjugate again uh, to congregate again to, um, to discuss her future. But the prosecutor's main argument is that Meng Wanzhou would be a flight risk due to uh, the wealth uh, that ha she has available available to her. Of course, her father, one of the most uh, wealthiest men uh, in the world uh, as well. If she does manage to get back to China, China has no extradition treaties with Canada or the U.S. Her lawyer, however, David Martin, has said says that um, she would never break any uh, bail conditions because that would just be an utter embarrassment to her father and to her country. So uh, she has no intentions of doing that. Instead, uh, his, her lawyer proposed uh, electronic monitoring bracelets and strict surveillance and saying that she will hand in her second passport. She was uh, arrested in Vancouver at the Vancouver International Airport on Saturday uh, on her way from Hong Kong to Mexico. She flew on a uh, Hong Kong passport, which the authorities confiscated at the time at her, of her arrest, and her, her Chinese passport has since been flown to Vancouver, uh, and she is willing to hand that over um, to satisfy any uh, conditions uh, that would need to be met for her to uh, have bail. But again, that will continue on Monday morning. All right, Natalie Carney with the latest from Vancouver.